Now, I've called you in today to discuss your son, Luke. Okay, I hope it's not anything too serious. Oh, he's such a good boy. I hope he hasn't been led astray. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that just shy of 10 a.m. this morning, Luke arranged and passed all the requisite exams to qualify as a dental practitioner and established a reputable practice in a small hamlet near here. He then amassed an impressive list of patients and then systematically proceeded to inject into their gums a fearful concoction of liquid propane and a brand named Drain Cleaner, resulting in a final confirmed death toll of 214. What? He's never done that at home. Well, I'm afraid that's not all. Just after 10.30 a.m. Wait, wait, wait. You mean he did all that murdering and stuff in under half an hour? Well, yes. I'm sure now you can appreciate the level of concern that we have for Luke. He then took it upon himself to break into the science suite, successfully design and construct a prototype craft for the purpose of traversing time, and then travelled back to the early 1940s to retrieve the armies of the Third Reich. Well, weren't there supposed to be people supervising him or when all this was going on? Now, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I mean, where is he now? Can I have a little talk with him? Well, I probably should warn you that after lunch, he then became very concerned in the dark mysteries of genetic manipulation. G genetic manipulation? Ah, oh, here he comes now. Luke? Luke, I am your father. Oh, no. Luke? Now, Luke, I think we need to have a little chat. No. What have you been doing? Come on. No. We're going to take you home no. and wash your no. mutilated head. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Straight into his eyes. No. No. Such a promising young lad.